what's up what's up what's up pisces treat me nice please it is me it is she it is viva it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of september we're gonna make it a month to remember we're gonna see what the tea is for you guys and love I'm going to get all this good love energy. I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. A shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies for like, sharing, subscribing, clicking this video, supporting and giving me love. Big shout out to you. Y'all know I always give God acknowledgement and praise before we get into anything. So bow your heads with me. I'm going to make it short. Father God, thank you so much for bringing the sign of Pisces here collectively. Thank you so much for loving on us. Thank you so much for elevating us. Thank you for separating us from things that we don't need to be around, Father God. We are here to get the guidance to receive the overall most abundant, nurturing, healthy, and in joyful love that we can ever receive in our life, Father God. Um, for the people that are in current relationships, please give us the guidance for the people in relationships so that they can help heal, mold, create even more joy and prosperity and happiness in their connection. And for the people that are single, Father God, please help them attract the biggest love of all, Father God. We appreciate all of the love. And prosperity that you brought into our life. We thank you for healing us and for revealing things to us that we needed to see to help us be where we need to be, Father God. Please give the sign of Pisces the guidance that they need to receive today. And we thank you for every day. Amen, amen, and amen. Jesus. <laughs> Going the main line. Okay. So let's get into this, Pisces. Let's see what we got going on. All right. For well, my lovely, lovely Pisces. What we got going on in love in September for my Pisces? Okay, one more shuffle. All right. We got, oh, okay, y'all right off the top. Damn, you got jealousy. Really now? Okay, Pisces. Okay. I am reloaded. So we got jealousy. <laughs> going on in love and then um we got passion at the bottom with the number two so i feel like there's jealousy that the person that you could be with is, is tied to somebody else let's see what this is going on something like jealousy that's it so i'm saying let me look at the bottom of the deck and see what's going on when i when i split the deck you got the strength and the depth card. So, I don't know if you guys are trying to find the strength right now to get rid of something. Um, it's like you're fighting this addiction to stop giving way to... I, I just heard a toxic and abusive relationship. I want to say it hurts. Like, it hurts. Like, you seeing this person... And I want to say it's being done in front of your face, too. Because you see, it's like you can see the shadow of who this person is really with. And, like, they're giving this person all of this energy and just leaving you alone. And, like, really, like, creating, like, a solid bond and connection with somebody else. Like, you can tell that the passion is not for you. It's for another person. And it makes you feel fucked up inside. And it's, it's something about... Where you're at in this stage with this relationship, it's like, why can't I let this go? You know? So, right now, Pisces is... I want to say bossing up. Because I want to say, you're like, you're sick of this shit. You are absolutely, positively fucking sick of this shit. I just heard I can't do it no more. Like, you want to be with her? Go be with her then. Go be with her. You spending all this time giving this... Bitch, all your attention and stuff like that. Like, this bitch making shit for you. and Go be with her. Go be with her. <laughs> like, I'm having the strength at this point in my life to let go. Ashes and ashes and dust to dust. So, and I don't think that you coming back this time. With this strength card, it's like, nah. Because I've gave way to temptation too many times. This time, when it's over, it's over. And that's, I, I really do think that you mean business. And you got the work, baby, you got the world card at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, 
uh fixed sign is leo aquarius taurus or scorpio it's over it's like you want this chapter of your life to be done come to finality it's like i'm i'm tired of waiting and then you got the nine of swords because when i put this over here apparently i must have put the debt um i put the and then you got the ace of swords so it's like something i'm telling the truth and then you got the five of pentacles and then you got the page of swords in the reverse it's like i want to say like you're sitting here watching this person stalking somebody else's page so this motherfucker won't stop. Well, I feel like this person is using your phone to go look at another bitch page. You see, he's looking at another bitch. Like, he worships this other woman. Like, what the fuck? I'll be damned, you gonna use my shit to be like, bitch, you got me fucked up. Using my phone to be looking. But yeah, this is like... I heard this is terror and abuse. This is terror and mental... And I just heard physical abuse. This shit hurt. Like you might as well have just punched me in my motherfucking face. You know what I'm saying? And, this, and, and, and the fact that this person feels like that they don't even have to hide what they're doing. I'm over it. Like I said, this, there's a level of truth to what I'm saying. Like this is what I'm saying is being confirmed. It's the truth. This woman feels regret she feels alone she feels sorrow she feels pain she feels remorse that this is happening to her and she's starting to look at things at face value like this motherfucker don't love me like he's dead ass in love with another woman That shit not cool, man. What you got here? You got the emperor in the reverse. And then you got the seven of cups. Yeah. This man is confused. This man is not stepping up and handling his obligations. So certain obligations and things that he used to do that he's letting fall to the wayside. He's just letting himself go. It's like he's trying to find himself. I want to say like this man is learning about himself through engagements with other people. Because I'm hearing self-seeking. Because you know the seven of cups is when you got all these options and opportunities in, in front of you and you, you like you really don't know what to do because you really don't know yourself yet. It's like if you knew yourself a little bit more, you would be more prepared for, you know, the, the best decision making. You know what I'm saying? This person doesn't necessarily know himself or know much about these other people it's like he's finding out about it along the way and he's finding out more things about himself along the way so he could be coming home with different little trinkets different little booklets that he's reading all of this different little shit and you're like where the fuck is this shit coming from like this ain't you like where are you getting this shit from it's like he's he's picking up traits from from other options And I'm, I'm hearing something that's like he's also being tested on his standard of being a man because he thinks he's an emperor other than sexually. Like, yeah, you can handle shit in the bed, but you ain't going to help nobody take care of no children. You ain't about to do no work around the house. If something broke, you don't know how to fix it. Like, I just heard... Oh. Latitude and longitude, you don't know what that means. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> oh my god, I just said this person's not that smart. It's like they, they can't really teach you anything. They can't lead you. They can't guide you. They can't provide anything for you. So my question to you, Pisces, what the fuck you want this nigga for? He's an emperor in the reverse. 
Like, listen to everything that you're saying about this person. I'm glad that you're getting over this motherfucker. Because I'm like, this nigga sound like a fucking nightmare. And then you got solitude right here. When I split the deck. And it's springtime. Mm, mm, mm. You got karmic partner. Bitch. It, I got to take it. Because you got solitude again. You said solitude and karmic partner. You're trying to find home balance. You want balance in your home. Because you like, if I'm going to be by myself, I, I might as well be by my motherfucking self. <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? Give me two more cards. Um, definitely, um... Because this is... This shit hurting me reading this shit. Damn. But I feel like Pisces is good, though, because you, you, you're set on your decision. I feel like you're just talking to me and telling me what was going on. But Pisces feels strong. Like, you're battling this shit. You getting through the shit. Because we ain't spending no more nights up stressing, worrying about where this motherfucker is at, who he fucking with, all of these secrets. And I'm at, fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Okay? Pisces is... Focus on a material world and letting go of karmic cycles. Because I just told you this is a karmic partner. It's a karmic partner. Conventional relationship. Duty. Bound by societal conventions. So the only reason why you with this person is because of material reasons. Or something. It's, it's something that's holding y'all together. It's not love. I haven't seen that one fucking thing about love here. I see love that this man got. Trying to figure out what this other bitch doing. And I mean he's deep down the motherfucking rabbit hole. Okay. Because I'm like why is he using your phone to talk to this bitch. Like is she not talking to him or something. Like I. I that, that ain't my business. That ain't my business. Focus on Pisces. But it's like, mm -mm. and then you I spit the deck side, bitch. Okay. Yeah. Mm mm mm. Did I just say secret freak freak? Yeah. I don't know if the side bitch is a secret freak freak or something. Give me guidance, Pisces. Pisces likes this man because this man is just like her. Like, they have a lot of common. Yeah, secret freak freak. Somebody is a secret freak freak. You do what the others don't do. So, I don't know if this is the way that this person feels about this woman that he's watching, or if this is the way he feels about you. Who is this for? But someone likes... Someone likes the Pisces, or, or the Pisces likes this man, or this man is infatuated with this woman. Um, no, 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 no. This is Pisces. This is Pisces. So what connected you to this person? You do what them other bitches don't do. So whatever them other bitches don't tolerate from this nigga. Because I want to say someone could have cut this motherfucker off. Because why he looking so hard? Why is he? It's like this motherfucker is having to look deeper into something than he usually would do. And again, I'm getting like a... um. A deep level of infatuation. It's like an addiction almost. Like you can't stop looking. But you on the other hand. I feel like you're the only person that really accepted this emperor in the reverse for all his flaws. You do what the other people don't do. You could be a secret freak freak and he could be a secret freak freak. You like each other because you guys are, are the same type of person. You know what I'm saying? It's just like y'all understand each other. And I want to say you go above and beyond for this person. You do the things for this man that the other uh, bitches will not do for him. 
but it's like he still put you to the side or he's still treating you the way and I, I don't get that definitely a karmic partnership let's see how does how does the pisces feel in this situation and i'm about to wrap this up because i don't know the pisces is checking social media it feels like the sex is trash <laughs> under the deck is what they talk to their family and friends about you so check in your social media the sex was trash and it gossiping interesting okay let's see Damn, Pisces, like, <laughs> Pisces just said the last time I had sex with this motherfucker, it was trash anyway. <laughs> it was trash. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking to your sisters about this shit, but it's like, man, this shit just going downhill fast. Like, I'm over this shit. <gasps> I'm over this shit. I'm completing this cycle. I'm ready to go to the next chapter of my life, like. This not no big thing for me because this is just a fucking chapter. And then when I split the deck, you got the Princess of Cups. So, I mean, damn, you got the Ace of Cups and you got the Princess of Cups. So I want to say you like you're falling in love with yourself again. I want to say like you're beautifying your house in a way that is virtuous to you. Because especially with the... um. The Ace of Cups, I'm getting like an overflow and abundance in your house. I want to say like you finally get to decorate and put your wall paintings up. And I just heard painting and, and pictures. Painting and pictures. And then they go that, you know, the fish in the cup. So it's like emotional wealth. Um, physical health is, is going up. You're more focused on, like, I feel like you have more time to practice on um, your hobbies and things like that. Whatever it is that make you happy. I just heard clothes, shopping, decorating. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you feel like you're in a prison. You feel trapped. But it's just a mental thing. I feel like you're just getting to this point where it's like, and the Six of Pentacles. So you, you might be receiving some type of financial aid and help to help you mentally process this and get out of this. So it's like you may be listening to somebody. It could be your family and friends. Um, I really do feel like you need to, If you're checking this man's social media, you need to stop. Or whoever's social media. Especially if you feel like this person's sex was trash and all of this shit. The eight of, and I just heard somebody could be going to jail too. No, y'all saying somebody's been locked up inside of these walls and it's like, I can't get out. I just heard I didn't do anything to you. Why am I here? Somebody is going to jail. Why am I hearing like a false allegation or something? Because someone just said, I'm locked in these walls and I can't get out. Why am I here? I didn't even do anything to you. So somebody getting locked up. Someone may be reaching out to you for help, need aid, bail money or something like that. I feel like that's a separate note that ain't got nothing to do with you, Pisces. Um, mentally, I feel like there's been a void, that there's been a hold on you mentally. Just trying to stop thinking about this stuff. And... Your family is coming to help you, especially financially. If, like, if you have to start all over financially, if you feel trapped because like you can't leave or you can't make certain movements because of a money situation, don't worry about no money. Your family got you. Your family got you. And I feel like you're going to a, a, a luxurious and loving environment 
where you could focus more on yourself and do the things that you always wanted to do without somebody else's opinion and input about how the fuck you live your life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I live the standard of my life the way that I want to live. I, I, I heard Pisces is just so glad to finally be out of this situation. They're finally in a place where they got home violence. And I feel like Pisces may need to go a little bit deeper. You you need to do some research and, and, and look deeper within yourself to figure out what attracted you to this person. What was it about this emperor in reverse? Other than him being a secret freak freak and y'all being in the freaky shit, whatever. But this motherfucker couldn't do shit for you. Nothing. You need to take this time to figure out what it was because I feel like you're the abundant one because your material world is on the upright. Your material world is going up after this release. Like I said, your family going to help you and everything. Your money good. Money good, money long, money strong. Please, Pisces, because I love you and I'm pouring love on you, baby. Please figure out what it was at that stage of your life that made you accept this and put up with this for that long. Yeah, that's a confirmation. God is asking you to please listen right now. You have to sit down and have this conversation with yourself. Because if you don't, you would attract the same shit in a different toilet. And I don't want that for you. Okay? I know we got the world card here. And yeah, we go into the next chapter. But let's not repeat no lessons from this chapter into the new chapter. We, I don't, anytime you see anybody remotely that reminds you of this girl, if you don't motherfucking run, you are so beautiful. You are so deserving. Nobody deserves to be treated like this. Not a motherfucking person. Nobody. Pisces, I love you. I want to say. Shout out to you for finally putting the fucking foot down. Because look, you see the death, you see the people in the background. Pisces knows what's going on. Like you, ugh. Pisces just said good riddance. Good riddance. Pisces just said, I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing that reminds me of you or the situation ever again. I don't want to be attached to you. I don't want even the same friend group. I feel like Pisces is starting all the way over. All the way over. Shout out to you, Pisces. Listen, if this resonated, y'all let me know what's going on down in the comment section. Um, <laughs> I can't get over this sex was trash. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like. Y'all like that. Y'all hit that like button if y'all are new. Uh, if you would like to, subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace. And thank you for loving yourself, baby.